Hey, what's up guys? Back with another Y2K banger. Ba -ba banger. So I've done so many videos in the past on Photoshop, but today we're not in Photoshop. We're going to be using Kittle. Big shout out to Kittle for sponsoring this video. First thing I did for this collection of works was added a font that I wanted to Kittle. I had to add it a few times. Don't know why it didn't work first time. But this is the font that I'm using. PG Jean. You can add an offset, a depth and a stroke to get a really fast Y2K effect. But I went back and I decided to play with the spacing of the letters until the U and the M kind of connected in this really fluid way. And from there I put the other letters back on with the same width stroke on every letter for continuity. And from there I began expanding the canvas using different elements and essentially building a big concept page hoping to get something that I liked for this slump logo. I typed Y2K into the elements panel and it gave me an abundance of different free to use elements that I just dragged and dropped. I mostly left it all as black and grey at the start because down in the bottom right you can use the project colours to change everything afterwards all in one go. At the start of a Y2K logo concept I try and just do as much as I can, try as many different elements and shapes and outline widths and ideas hoping that by the end of the project there's at least one or two that I really like even though I've used a custom font everything is still adjustable you can change the direction of the text you can arch it you can add a shadow you can do nearly all the stuff you can on Photoshop and there's different layers just like Photoshop to make it easy to have things in front or behind the text if there's a specific element you need you can search that in say you're looking for a circle or a star you can go ahead and key that in and it will give it to you you want sham i'll give it yeah sip of my coffee god damn i'm tired this morning <sighs> A good thing to do when developing Y2K logos, have a look at some on the internet that you really like and see what it is you like about it. It's usually the depth of the text or the font choice and a consistent stroke the whole way through the logo that will make it stand out as an iconic Y2K logo. This year Y2K videos have been some of my biggest videos and I'm still seeing the incline in fashion brands in hip hop like album covers. Y2K is only getting bigger and bigger. Now is the time to master the effect and Kittle is a great way of doing it. It's a lot more affordable than Photoshop or Illustrator is and whilst there's definitely going to be some perks to having the Adobe Studio, there isn't much that Kittle can't do and it makes it so much easier to do it. You can save everything as an SVG to transparent. Everything that you create in Kittle you can go back into and edit again. It's not like you've rasterized anything. Every layer will forever be editable. Here I just took the S from Slump to make a more icon based logo instead of a full text logo. It's always good when you're doing client work to give them more of an icon image based logo as well as their full text logo that they can use. Here I wanted to give the client a design that would take up a bit more space on a page or on a social media post so I combined one of the logos that I'd made up top with a Y2K cartoon making sure that the outline width on the text and the cartoon was consistent and I think that looks pretty sick. Let me know what you guys are thinking of this canvas that I pulled together. I'm going to put this public on my Kittle page so that you guys can use these logos if you would like to steal them off of me. That's fine by me. Here I opened up a new canvas and I had the idea of making a Y2K logo where every letter was a different font. This time the brand name is Method, not Meth. I know I stopped at Meth for a moment. It's not meth guys, don't do meth, just crack. I'm joking, I shouldn't probably say this. There might be some seven year olds watching this tutorial. Just stick to water, it gets you higher than anything. If you drink water for long enough, you'll be higher than the person that did crack because they're gonna come down. Once I had method typed out with the elements, with every letter being a different font, I created a few different variations with different strokes. And this is what it looked like. I think I preferred some of the Y2K logos that I made at the start of this video, but I felt like this method one had more of a Y2K streetwear look. So I've mocked them up onto merchandise, onto some hoodies, a sweatshirt and a t-shirt so you guys can visualize kind of how Y2K can look on clothing. Once again, big shout out to Kittle for sponsoring another video. I honestly wouldn't keep making videos with Kittle if I didn't think it was a really good asset that designers should know about. As an alternative, perhaps you're doing client work whilst traveling or you want a software that you don't have to download that you can use to make logos but quicker like honestly you can make them really fast but they still turn out quality i love making y2k logos there's still going to be more on the channel and i'll be jumping back into adobe to execute them soon if you enjoyed this video guys drop a like 
leave a comment and check the description for my promo link to Kittle. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all have a blessed Xmog Christmas and Chank Thonk. And don't forget to check Ali Beckley. God bless, guys. See you in the next one. Thank you.